Derek the Black Beast Lewis is a sophisticated man. And what kind of man would I be if I try to do a fighter showcase using the most sophisticated man in the UFC without dressing up a little bit? That would be disrespectful. And you know what, man? We are not going to be disrespectful today. Mmm. Yum. Oh, hello there. I'm Derek the Black Beast Lewis. A lot of people on social media might think I'm just this big freaky guy, you know, that's always posting booty pictures and this and that, but no, I'm not. I'm sensitive and very sophisticated. Why don't you come with me and take a look at my lovely home? Let me show you why I like to drink. Only organic. <laughs> Sorry about that. What I meant was, this is what I drank. Um, come, come, come booty, come booty. Hmm. I guess this is what I. Drink. That is what I like to drink as well, man. Hello, white people. <laughs> I love my neighborhood. Oh, uh, yes. Hey, guys. I want to show you why I do all my meditation and my yoga. Hooray! <laughs> all you girls have to leave now. Take off that Ronda Rousey wig and get out of here. I hope you all enjoy my tour. I would like to thank all my sponsors. Kale, Lululemon, Polo. Nah. Shit, man. I can't do this. I tried, and you yeah. know it's just not working. Put, put the glasses you know, um, The UFC pushed Sage Norcutt and that karate girl, whatever, and the other girl karate that the stars. You know, <laughs> I'm not worried about if they push me or not. You know, I'm gonna be me. I'm the black beast. Derek, you know, Derek, who cares? You know, I drank beer, forties, no. whatever. Don't drink a beer, Derek. Derek, we we need to just your image. Mmm, okay. mmm, <laughs> You thought I was about to get sweaty on UFC 4 while wearing all that? Hell no. Hell no. Today, there he is, we're using Derek, the Black Beast, Lewis, and we are going to try to get a solid, solid fighter showcase going. Of course, he is set to face uh, Serial Gone in the main event in just a few days. I think it's going to be a very interesting fight, of course. Derek Lewis is, you know, Derek Lewis is a character, man. You know, he, he really is a character in the sense that on one hand, you think that he is completely outmatched because his, his opponent is more skilled. Maybe his opponent is more skilled in terms of grappling or maybe they're more skilled in terms of the ability to strike, very technical striking. But, thank you, the Black Beast always finds a way. He always finds a way to settle the score. He always finds a way to get it done. So... Do not be surprised if he figures out a way to knock out Serial Gun. Of course, that is very unlikely. But mixed martial arts never ceases to amaze. But here we are, folks, back in UFC 4. EA Sports UFC 4. At the end of the day, that is still the main game that we play on here. Um, we're, just, we're just doing a lot of other stuff right now. And so far, so good, man. I've been enjoying making content a lot more than I have been before. It's just right now, things are just feeling so much better. So we're, st we're still going to be playing UFC 4. Don't get me wrong. We'll still be doing fighter showcases. Hit him with some of that Derek Lewis head kicks. But we'll also be playing some of the games. We'll be doing... No. We'll be doing some other type of content. And I think... The variety is going to be good. Okay. This is, he got it. It was only a matter of time before he got... I mean, this is what he should be doing, honestly. This is exactly what he should be doing if he's going to... If he's going to win this fight, he's going to need to do something. Because so far, he's playing... Okay, he's just going to lay there. Classic. 
I don't I don't I'm not sure this dude really knows what to do. Honestly, his stops it. I thought that would be faster. No. I was really hoping that transition would be faster, but this is just the ground game of uh, UFC 4. Pity pat punches to try to build up grapple advantage before you can freaking transition. No. No. Like, this grappling system is so bad, I'm not, I'm not even sure where to even begin. Just nothing about it makes any sense whatsoever. He's up. Surprise, he let me get that. This dude does not know what to do, man. He doesn't know what to do on the feet at all. I mean, look at his combos. He's throwing hook hook and throwing uppercut uppercut combos and then standing completely still. He doesn't really know what to do. Which only means... No. Oh, he got it. Go. Alright. Whew. A lot of... T uh, you know, a lot of times, man, you get Daniel... Daniel Cormier players that pick DC and not really have a, a set plan. Especially if they take you down and your ground game is not trash. You know what I mean? Like if they take you down and you're able to like in, in, and you're able to defend yourself and they're not able to get dominant position, especially those grapplers who, you know, they want one specific position. If you can prevent them from getting there, a lot of time they, they get stuck. My controller is dying. That's not good. That is not good. No. Get off me, bro. Go, 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 go. He denies it. Okay. Neon belly. Also, the way the fighters get out of knee on belly in this game is just the weirdest freaking thing ever. You just push on the knee and you're out. It's like, that's not how you escape knee on belly. You know, there's no buck. There's nothing. It's just uh, some of the decisions. And then, like, this turtle. Okay. We about to just stand up like Derek Lewis. No. Aha! My turn. No. You're not gonna get that. You're just not gonna get that, brother. Look at him, he's got. Derek Lewis, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Blue Belt. Holding down DC in sight control. Look at him. Hey, man, you wanted to grapple. Get back up on my feet. Okay, can we do this? Can we, can we, can we fight now? No? All right, bro. That's fine by me. I'm going to lay on your back like a freaking Democrat. Oh, you guys, that's going to piss some people off. They always get mad at that. Posture, posture. Ooh! I had the side control transition from posture up right there, but I missed it. Anyways, still got side control. Get back up. I do not want him to pin me against the cage right now. All right, let's get it. Come on, buddy. Let's get it. And of course, when you're facing someone that wants to grapple you, best thing you need to do is pressure them, like I'm doing right here. Because when you pre- Bro. Got him. It's only a matter of time now. 
It is only a matter of time now before he literally dies. I mean, he's... Like I said, he seems to me like a sitting duck. Like someone that doesn't really know what to do. That's what he seems like. That is a mistake. He's rocked. No. I knew he was going to shoot right there. It's only instincts to shoot right there. Because he... No. Oh, yeah. Take down defense is on point right now. No. <laughs> Man, there's so many different things that you could do, bro. There are a lot of things you could be doing with DC, man. DC can actually pack, pack, pack a punch. Don't just stand there, brother. Don't just stand there. You gotta do something, man. Because right now, you are a sitting duck. No. Get the heck out of here, homie. Uh-huh. And he's gone. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think if you're going to pick DC, like it's very important to understand that the only thing you can do is not grapple. That is not the only thing that he can do. You know, Daniel Cormier also has power. He's got some speed. If grappling is not working for you, try to strike, man. Like, really try to strike. Don't just stand there completely still and let your opponent have your way with, have their way with you. It's just, it's not the right way to play it. But anyways, that is it. First fight of success. We're going to keep it pushing. Be right back. I hate how long it takes to find a fight, man. But here we go. Here we go. We're, we're facing someone that's actually good, a good player, using Serial Gun. Serial Gun. This is the man that Derek Lewis will be fighting. Let's see. Got him. Got that Derek Lewis head kick. I like that Derek Lewis head kick, that Black Beast head kick. You know what, man? From now on, I demand that every single lead roundhouse to the head it should be renamed to the black beast it's no longer a lead roundhouse to the head it is a black beast so anytime somebody i'm telling you guys now anytime someone gets caught with a roundhouse kick to the head from the lead leg they got caught with a black beast so Wei Li Jean got caught with a black beast rose namayune has caught her with a beautiful black beast a spinning black beast. A question mark black beast. <laughs> Israel throws a beautiful question mark black beast for sure. There you go. Another black beast to the body. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Edson Barboza throws a beautiful switch black beast. He absolutely does. Beautiful black beast to the body. Another, oh my god. Black beast to the body misses. He lands a beautiful black beast to my body. Careful with that. That is where you start getting dropped. That's where you start getting dropped catches my black beast honestly man he's trying to pressure me backwards and that's a good strategy i'm just not gonna let that happen because Derek lewis man it, it, trying to play counter striker with Derek lewis is just a bad idea it's not this is this is where i need to be i need to be pushing i need to be the bully i need to be i need to be the one leading the dance that's what i need there we go Blocks that. No. You're not going to catch me with that front kick. You already showed your hand, brother. We are pressuring him right there. That's where I want him. Set him down with that beautiful black beast. To the body. 
My daughter's screaming in the background. <laughs> I just love that shit so much. Oh! Don't do it! Beautiful. Okay. I'll tell you guys, man, Derek Lewis in this weight class, he feels good, but he feels good if you are being very, um, if you're leading the dance. Like, when Derek Lewis is gonna feel like complete crap is if you have an opponent that figures out a way to beat you to the punch every single time. And that's why with Lewis, even though he doesn't have a lot of good stamina in this weight class, you still have to be busy because the way to make a, fi a, a slow fighter seem fast is to work, is to go first. That's the fastest way to be fast. The, the, be the best way to be quick is to go first. Even if you're slow, if you go first, you're faster. So, I mean, that's just logical. You know what I mean? There we go. Set him down right there. If Usain Bolt gives you a five minute head start, it's very possible he could still beat you, but still, you know, you'd be a lot faster than you, that you would, you'd be a lot faster than you would be if you were to start at the same time that he started, or if he started before you. So when you're in there with someone that's faster, thank you, and this is in real life as well, this is a very good philosophy to keep in mind when you learn this kickboxing. The best way to be quicker than someone who's naturally faster than you is to go first. You go first, you're quicker. And so, that's the same, the same, uh, the same concept works in the game. If you're using a fighter that's slow and you're facing someone that's faster than you, the worst thing that you can do is let them start overwhelming you with that speed. You have to, you have to uh, advance, advance, and you have to try to beat them to the punch. That's that's how you're gonna end up faster. You know, a lot of you guys be asking questions like, man, I don't know, I don't know how I can't like. It feels like my opponent. Nope. Same mistake they always make. Some of you always say it seems like my opponent is always faster than me. He's always he's always beating me to the punch. Like every time I try to punch, I get interrupted. That's because you're not going first. That's literally the reason why you're not going first. So. Oh my god! His head was that damaged? His head was that damaged? That two jabs got it done? Yes! Absolutely! Oh yeah! Now that's a good way to end it. That's a very good way to end the fight. Jab, jab! Jab, jab, and he's done. Alrighty. There it is. Fighter showcase with the most sophisticated man in the UFC. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you guys know what to do to that like button. Also, in the comment section below, just let me know who you guys think is going to win the fight. Um, give me your fight prediction. Bold predictions are welcome here, man. I like bold predictions. I like crazy predictions. I promise I'm not going to get on your ass and... That's a horrible take. That's a bad take. That's a terrible take. Like a bunch of fucking weirdos on Twitter and shared up. Just give me your take. Who do you think is going to win? How do you think they get it done? And, uh... Let me know, and I will definitely see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.